slash 101. All right, today I'm going to be talking about transforming the slash um, original equipment radio from stopping to use these expensive useless batteries after about two three runs and what I'm going to show you how to do is how to put in um, a rechargeable 9.6 volt 1650 milliamp battery um, these are pretty much all the tools you're going to need solder guns some solder some flux a pair of tin snips and a Phillips head screwdriver and a tomorrow plug um, I've already uh, taken apart the, the the controller. I already took out the screws to make this a little bit faster. First, you're going to have to take out your your crystal, and once you get this apart, set that off to the side. Now, what you're going to notice is you're going to notice this black and red wire, one connecting over to here, which would be the black, and the red over to this side. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to disconnect them from these little prongs. These little prongs pretty much just slide right out. You're going to want to take them all out. Take every one of them out. The ones on the ends, on these two ends, are going to be stationary because they're soldered in. So heat up your, uh, your solder iron, just loosen up the, the solder, and it'll pull right out. Now you use them two wires and you take this plug right here. And what you're going to want to do is connect them to them two wires. Now once you connect it, what you're going to want to do is you're going to see a little side wall right next to the antenna. And what I did is I just used some CA glue and I pretty much, I already did this mod so you got to excuse me. All I basically did is I took it and I glued it to that side of that wall. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab that solder iron and you're going to want to go right into here and just open up a hole that's how I got that hole and then I just fine-tuned it with a with an exacto knife and that's where you're gonna wind up plugging it in and I'll show you once we're all done here um, now once you got that all set you got that all connected you got that all glued in I just put some more even some hot glue in here too just to just to make it stiff so because you're gonna be pulling the plug in and out every so often just take that all your extra wires and tuck them in in a nice neat area and then what you're going to want to do is on the back side of the other side you're going to notice these two little grooves right here there's one on the other side the other side you're going to want to take out that one groove about halfway down the reason is is because when you take the battery pack and you shove the battery pack in plus you're going to have to notch it right here too you notice I notched it right there that accommodates for the battery to slide in now once it's slid in you can take it and tuck the wire down in now once the wire is tucked in and then on the side I just made a little notch as well and just bring it right outside that notch okay now I'm gonna put it all back together here and that's the reason for you have to do that notch right there in that case right here you have to sort of kind of just break that off a little bit so when it slides down over it it'll all snap right back together okay we get this try and do this all with one hand here Set your camera down real quick and get this together so you can see what it looks like when it's all done. And that's pretty much what you're going to wind up with. Batteries fits perfect in there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to want to take it and plug it right into that little slot. And once you're plugged in, Excuse my camera. Here, once I plug it in, I'll give you a test. There you go. There you go. There's a light, full charge. 
and a full charge it's uh, roughly 9.6 uh, roughly it goes up to about almost almost 12 volts once I put it on the Venom charger and I get a lot more runtime out of it and you could just shove the extra wire back in you know if you don't want it hanging out too much and what's nice about it is once you unplug it once this is all back together all you gotta do is unplug it charge it you're done well that's it I hope you enjoyed it and hope you can use this mod. Peace out.